We are gonna do a shopping spree. You have one minute to get as many Driven Toys into this basket as you can. We're gonna get so many toys! Hurry, 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 hurry. You got a dump truck here, you got a dozer, a big dump truck, a big backhoe. Seconds, 40 seconds. Go, 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 go. Abracadabra, Alice. Ah, we're at Walmart. We're in the toy aisle. We've got all of these trucks here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome to the show. Today we have a really special kind of show. We are gonna do a shopping spree and we're gonna learn about marketing toy companies and their marketing tactics. So Axel thinks he can guess the brand of toys. It's on this row right here. See if Axel can guess you guys. <laughs> Monster Truck? Monster Truck? What brand Monster is it? Monster Jam Hot Wheels. Monster Jam Hot Wheels. Yeah, it's a partnership between Monster Jam and Hot Wheels here. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you guys, the monster trucks we use typically, that brand is Hot Wheels, but it is not Hot Wheels. Is that the, is the brand? The brand, it's a different brand. What brand do you think it is? Driven or Tonka? Uh, that's two brands. You have to pick one. Driven. Driven? You are correct. Yes, you guys, this company right here, Driven, contacted us and said we could go on a shopping spree. So, here are the rules of the shopping spree, okay? You guys ready for the rules? You have one minute to get as many Driven toys into this basket as you can. For free? For free, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, are you ready, bro? All right, I'm gonna set my timer for one minute. One minute, how many of the Driven trucks do you think Axel can get in there? All right, bro, are you ready for the minute? All right. I'm pushing the button. Go. Go, go, go. 59. <laughs> 58. 57. Come on. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Go, 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 go. Only one of each kind. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Can you fit it in? <laughs> go, 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 go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. Did you get a dump truck yet? Four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> okay, well, let's see what you ended up with, okay? All right, you guys, let's pull everything out. Okay, you got a dump truck here. You got a dozer. Look at that dozer. A logging truck with actual logs. A logging truck with actual logs. Got a hook to do it, too. A car. A tow truck with a car. A crane. A crane. Okay. Fire truck. A backhoe here, a little backhoe. And a, and a fire truck. A big dump truck. Let me see, put it over here. A big backhoe. Dude, that looks cool. Okay, and the last but not least, this is my favorite. I am so excited. Yeah, I think this, this is, is gonna be, that's too. your favorite too. <laughs> a giant recycling truck. This looks like the Bruder recycling truck. They one of the trucks. They, well, you didn't have time to get it anyways. Which truck didn't they have? Oh, they didn't have the fire truck? They didn't have the map. Or the dozer here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you got everything but the dozer and the fire truck. But we got the little dozer here what? and the little fire truck here. Oh, look, look. They have a cement truck and a steamroller that we didn't get. Oh, look, and they have a little forklift or a telehandler. And a cement and a... Yeah, steamroller. Ah, oh, man. I wish they Too bad. All of them. You know what? Even if they did have all of them here, he couldn't have gotten them because he, no, he ran out of time. I, no, I couldn't find them. Oh, That's why. Okay. All right. Well, maybe next time, okay? All right, bro. So, since we're done with that shopping spree, let's check out the monster trucks they have. <laughs> we need some monster trucks, you guys. We are in Hawaii now, you guys. We're in Maui. We're back in Maui. And we didn't bring any of our trucks this time. None of them. Because we spent way too much money on bringing our trucks last time. We could have bought all new trucks with the money we spent on bringing our trucks here last time we were in Maui. Did you know that? And now, all we have to do is pay for them to go in the thing. So Axel, Bubba, listen, we are not gonna bring any trucks back, okay? All right, but you guys, we're gonna do something really cool. Instead of spending the money of shipping them back, we're gonna give all these trucks away. When we're done having fun with them and we're done testing them out to see if they might be worth it for you guys to get, you're gonna give them to some kids here in Maui, maybe to an orphanage or something. Let's get a monster truck while Mad we're here, okay? Sandy. You wanna get the mad <laughs> Okay, Axel wants to get the mad scientist. All right, oh my gosh, Axel. You missed it. 
You missed the dozer. It was right here. How did you miss it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. I missed it. Did you guys see it? Oh my gosh, Uncle Boone, go back and play and see if we saw it. Seconds, 40 seconds. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Ugh. No. But we can't break the rules though. No. That dozer would have been so cool to play with on the beach. Look at this thing. Guess what? What? If you pay for half of it, I'll pay for the other half. If you pay for half, I'll pay for the other half? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I pay for half, you're gonna spend $10? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Should I spend $10 on it? Yes! Yeah. You wanna spend 10 of your dollars on it? Okay, so since we didn't get it for the shopping spree, we'll buy it and we'll pay for it, okay? With our own money. We're gonna test it out, okay? All right, let's do it. I can't believe we missed it. Oh, we could have gotten it for free. All right, you guys, so the shopping spree is not over. We still have to go to another toy store. For we're gonna get there by teleporting, okay? Are you for ready another to teleport? shopping spree? Another shopping spree. <gasps> we're gonna get to so many toys. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, are you ready to teleport? Ready? Mm -hmm. Abracadabra, Alakazam. Alakazam! We're here! Where are we? What? What's happening? What's happening? Wait, I can't hey, stop the camera get here. I can't stop jumping. That's okay, stop jumping. It must be the magic wearing off. River, how'd you get on my back? What is happening? Where are we, bro? Do you, do you know where we are? Look around. Where's some signs? At Walmart? Ah, oh, we're at Walmart. We're on the toy aisle. How did we get here? Just kidding, you guys. <laughs> we came here on purpose. All right, bro, so do you see any comparable toys to the ones we got at Target? Do you? Do you see any? I see some right here. These Adventure Force ones right here. See that? Adventure Force, huh? That is Walmart's brand, right? They made up this brand, right? So do these look comparable to the smaller ones? Kind of, yeah, a little bit. All right, so let's get this. They have a front loader here, Adventure Force front loader. They have a cement truck. They have a, a dump truck. And then they have, uh, oh, they have a dozer. All right, let's get a dozer. All right, let's put those in here. And now, now what about the bigger construction trucks? See this dump truck right here? That looks about the same size as the dump truck we got, right? It's kind of similar. It's got this back that flaps open in the back. This is the same dump truck we got that we used for that experiment, right? The hydraulic experiment? So let's go ahead and grab this one, okay? All right, you guys, we're gonna get this one now. Okay, so do you see anything else that compare that's comparable to the trucks that we got? What do you see that's comparable? Fire right here. A fire truck, yes, you're right, okay. All right, do you see anything else, bro? A monster truck tow truck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's about the same size as that other tow truck. All right, let's get this, okay? Monster truck tow truck, and there's a monster truck dump truck, too. Look at that. Yeah. Are you ready to get the black and red one? Oh, the blue tow truck? Okay. All right, so we're going to get the blue monster truck tow truck. And there's a monster truck fire truck. A monster truck fire truck. Oh, you want to get that one instead? Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll get the monster truck fire truck instead. Instead of this fire truck right here. And then you want the red and black monster truck dump truck? All right, let's get that. All right, you guys, I think that's all they have here that's comparable to some of the trucks we got there. Now we're gonna go and compare the brands and see which is better. Okay, you guys, so we've got all of these trucks here. Oh my gosh, look at them all. I'm so excited to test these things out, you guys. But, I don't know where he went. What was that? I heard a noise coming from in there. What's that noise? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we planted him in there to surprise you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we are not going to do anything with the rest of those trucks over there. We're gonna wait for a future episode to do that, maybe the next episode. But look what we found, a track loader, right? Dude, and we are gonna open up this monster truck right here, the Mad Scientist. And I got El Toro Loco here, you guys. And there's the perfect monster truck arena. Look, look at the mound of dirt over there. The it's the Mad Scientist. It's the Mad Scientist. Actually, like the Mad Scientist, you guys. We really need to do some experiment videos on our channel, right? Can you open this thing up, bro? What side, right there? Side. Okay, I'll pull this side. Let's see, grip it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, pull it out and let's see. <laughs> oh man, that is a pretty, it's a van. It's a monster van. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same as all of our other monster trucks, right? Except for the top part, right? All right. Hey, hey, what's your name, man? Oh man. Hey, do you want to go ride on these hills with me? Yeah. 
There's some perfect heels over here. Come on. Oh wow, look at that. Let me see. Oh, you can bump down. That looks so cool. Oh, 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 Look, I can ramp off of the back of the wheels. Let's see. Ready? Go. Whoo! Oh. He got wet in there. Look at that. Wow. Uh oh, you can't get him out. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> that was crazy. It hit, it hit the underside like that and rolled down and got wedged in there. Look, just like that. I wonder if you can get it to do it again. Try it out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Nope. <laughs> ah, it did it again. Look at that. Wow. The bad Get hurt again. <laughs> yep. Look at this ramp right here, man. See, see if I can go to those rocks over there. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> hey, Axel. Ramp up the hill. See if you can get him to land right there. Let's see it. Ready? Go. Ouch. Right on the rocks. Let me try. Ready? <laughs> Oh, the rocks again. Oh man, El Toro Loco, did that hurt? Oh yeah, my head. Oh, and my horns, they hurt. Hey, El Toro Loco. Oh yeah, 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 mad scientist. Rip Digger told me that one time your horns fell off. Oh yeah, they did. You guys remember that? Well, we glued them back on, right? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's ride some more. <laughs> What is it? Oh, oh yes, yeah, a bucket. Come on, I'm gonna check it out. He's trying to fill it up. Oh, look, it's the bucket. Let's try to fill it up. Track loader. Hey, Axel, didn't yeah. you operate a track loader just like this one time? Yeah. Man, that was cool, right? I wish I could operate a track loader, but my tires won't reach the pedals. Well, Man. I can do something that make it well. What? I can stretch your tires out with fire. Oh, I don't like that sound of that. <laughs> Look at my head, it's on fire right now. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Look at this bucket, you guys. It's already full of gravel right here. I yeah. see something. What do you see? Oh, let's check it out. Come on, let's go check it out. Oh, hey, what is that? It says bug kit. A bug kit? Is that for catching bugs? Just open it up. Oh, man, that's so cool. What the heck? Just snap, snap. Really big bug. Yeah, you guys, Axel bought this bug catching kit. So he's gonna catch some, you're gonna catch, catch some bugs and put them in there? I'm gonna catch a So walk. you can observe them? No, I'm gonna catch a walk. See, it, it already had a hole in it, but it was the only one they had, so we'll fix it, right? I'm going to catch a walk, hold it what? by the head. <laughs> no. And then sting you. No, don't do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, Axel loves Brave Wilderness, and he's been getting stung a lot. Would you want me to get stung? Yeah. What do you guys think? Bye. A bullet ant. A bullet ant? I don't know if we can find one of those. But maybe we'll find something here that I can let sting like me. Like a yellow okay? jacket or a wasp? Maybe, yeah. We'll see, okay? Maybe. You maybe. guys comment below if you want to see me get stung Wait, or bitten by something. Do you think <laughs> it? Alright, you guys. Well, we got to go because we're going to go head to the beach right now and hang out for a few minutes before it gets dark. So, Axel, which truck are you most excited about testing out? The dump truck? The recycling truck? The adventure force? Dump truck? Adventure Force! Whoa! Or the backhoe or the dozer. What are you guys most excited to see us demo, huh? <laughs> I think the dump truck and the recycling truck. Okay. <laughs> Alright you guys, well, I wanted to talk to you real quick about advertising, okay? So are we and about advertising companies and how they advertise. Okay. So Axel, man, that's a pretty cool name for a company, right? Driven by Batat. I think that's how you pronounce that, Batat. Driven. That's a pretty cool name, huh? It's like the trucks are driven, right? Yeah, so that's appropriate and it's a cool name. It makes it sound like you're, it's like an action name, right? Driven. You know, what about this? What about this name? Adventure Force, right? Adventure. We talk about adventure a lot, right? And Force. Like, like trucks are strong and they have a lot of force, right? Force. <laughs> like Star Wars, using the force. <laughs> Yeah, you guys. Wait, so, like Axel. this kind of force? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Axel, did you know 
that these companies, this, this company, Adventure Course, this is a company of Walmart, okay? And this Driven, it's by Batat. Did you know that these companies, they spend millions and millions of dollars trying to get what? What do you think they spend Money. millions of dollars trying to get? Money. Money? Well, sort of, but what's the most important thing when it comes to getting people's money? You have to get their what first? Correct. Their attention. Their attention. Yeah, you guys, these companies, they desperately want the attention of the consumers. So, like, they and made we're consumers, and you guys are consumers, and so, these companies, they're trying to get your attention. And whenever we make shows, when we're outside having fun and, and just enjoying our lives and playing with toys or just playing in nature, you guys watch it, right? We have your attention. And so these companies want us to show you their products because we already have the most valuable thing for these companies. And that's the kids attention. The companies, they don't have the kids' attention, right? But we do. So, you guys, those companies desperately want us to show you their products. And that's how it works. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we want you to know how it works. They spend millions of dollars. They have people that sit up in offices and they say, okay, everybody, today we gotta figure out how are we gonna get those kids' attention? What's gonna grab their attention, huh? Like on Star Wars. Maybe. Yeah. We're gonna make a movie, and then we're gonna make a Lego set. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yes. Once oh, they make the I, movie, they I, have your attention, and then they sell a Lego set I see with a the movie. movie. Like the Batman I want Lego to play with that movie. Yes. Oh, there's a Lego set. I'm gonna build it. Yeah, you're right. That's how advertising works, you guys. So this company, Driven here, you guys, they contacted us, and they said, hey, if we give you some of our trucks, will you use it on your show? So you guys, the other day I was thinking, what is an interesting show that we can make this year that can give parents a good idea about what good trucks are out there? Well, last year we did the Tonka thing, and Tonka, um, their, their trucks are strong, right? And we did some Bruder stuff too, we like Bruder stuff. But, but I've been seeing this new brand right here, Driven, and I've been thinking maybe it'd be neat to do a show about their products as it compares. Now, th this is it. They sell these products at Target as it compares to these products which they sell at Walmart because you guys are probably at Walmart or Target sometimes, right? And you're there and you're looking at the toy aisle and you're thinking, oh, did you see that new Adventure Force truck there? And the Man, I'd really like to have that. Or did you see that? Truck. Yeah, did you see that new Driven uh, recycling truck? Oh my gosh, I want it so bad. <laughs> Right? <laughs> what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna actually test the toys out to see if they're actually a good buy. Now look, you don't need toys to have fun, but sometimes it's fun to have toys. And it's fun to use your imagination to have fun with them, all right? So this is called Adventure Force, right? But look, where's the adventure? In that truck or in your imagination? In there. In your eyes. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you don't need a truck to have an adventure. You can have an adventure with whatever you have around you. And we do that all the time, right? <laughs> you see a lizard somewhere? Oh, you don't need a toy truck. Just look at the lizard and it's an adventure right there, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys. But we want to show you guys, if you are going to buy some toys, what are the good toys to buy? What are the good quality toys? And what are the fun toys to buy? So we're going to test these toys out because Driven gave us the opportunity to do that. Now, Walmart did not uh, ask us to test their toys out. We're just gonna test them out and compare them to the Target version, which is the Driven here, and we're gonna see how they hold up. But we really do appreciate uh, uh, Driven reaching out to us, and we're glad they did, because now we don't have to buy them. We get them for free, so we can show you guys. All right, well, you guys get out. Use your imaginations to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. No matter what you have, you do not need toys, you guys. What, no matter where way. you are, you show can have fun wherever you are. You just don't. use your imagination. I'll show you why you <laughs> You don't need to be right next to a loader. Did you get this jump on? No, this is why. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, she is hanging on by one. Look at this. Hello, hello. <laughs> don't fall on your head. <laughs> you guys, I just wanted you to know how these companies work. They are desperate to get your this is attention. How they work. They're really? desperate for it, you guys. This and that's not a bad thing work. necessarily, but sometimes it is, because if they sell you a yeah. cheap, terrible product, and they make it look like it's so much fun and you can have an adventure with it, but it ends up being a piece of junk and you don't have an adventure anyways, well, they're lying to you. And I don't want that to happen, so just be aware. These companies, they're just trying to get your attention, okay? So like, but whether or not their so product like, is good or actually fun, so we're gonna show junky, you, okay? If it's so junky, you can just pull it out of the box and it snaps 
Yep. Yeah. yeah, that'd be bad, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, you ready to go to the beach? Mm -hmm. Alright, come on, let's go. Then you right, tell see that. you guys later. Bye! And be looking forward to future episodes really soon where we're gonna test out all these cool trucks and see if they're worth buying if, you, if you're looking for a new truck for Christmas or for your birthday this year. We don't want you guys to buy a piece of junk toy that doesn't work and don't, it isn't fun, right? We'll see you later, bye! And a quick word to parents, you guys. If any of you guys live on the island of Maui and you know of some kids who could really, really benefit from getting all of these toys that we're gonna purchase while we're here on the island to showcase on our show. If you guys know some kids, like an orphanage or someone special here, a group of kids who could really benefit from these toys, let us know so we can get a tip off of who to donate them to. Thank you so much. Also, you guys, we are in no way affiliated with Target, Walmart, or even Driven, the company. It's just a really big coincidence that I wanted to do some shows with the Driven trucks, and Driven just happened to email me a week after I thought of that. Really interesting. And we are not getting paid anything to do this, you guys. They're just giving us the trucks for free. 